but there's a chart here um, uh, based on a survey of proper survey of 4,000 people in the UK. And the good news for you <laughs> is that 60% of the UK population have heard of Netflix. How about that? We have, our numbers are slightly higher than that. There, okay. is, a bad, there is bad news as well. Sure. Uh, about 5% last month actually used the service. Now, is that a normal discrepancy be between at the early stage of an introduction? Are you happy with that sort of discrepancy? Absolutely. Remember, we, before we started streaming in, in the United States a little over six years ago, um, we had a, a seven, eight year history of, with DVDs and spending hundreds of millions of dollars on marketing. So our brand yeah. awareness was quite high. So yeah. we came, when, we came to, when we launched uh, in Canada, we launched in Latin America and we launched in UK, our brand awareness was zero. And we launched here in January. So yeah. I don't know what other brands you've seen go from zero to 60% in, in a few months, but... You must have spent an awful lot of money. Would you live here, did you see? <laughs> I did. One popped through my door too, yeah, like, 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 like everybody else. Look, isn't there going to be, you say no battles, so we're not involved in battles, but in the UK market, isn't there going to be one hell of a battle for this new emerging market? Look, what the, 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 the new and emerging market is, I believe that uh, in, over some period of time, we could argue about the time the timetable, mm -hmm. but over some period of time, just about all entertainment is gonna come into the home via the internet. And, mm -hmm. and so it's a very big market, proven out by how big the, the, the last iteration of television has been. So the, you're talking about a large battlefield because it's a big, huge business and everyone's gonna battle it out to own this new space. Okay, quote from Michael Comish of Blinkbox, owned by Tesco, as you know. Yes. There is essentially a land grab going on where Love Film and Netflix are paying uneconomically high rates to increase their content offers. Are you being forced into unreasonably uncommercial purchase of rights? No. Elaborate, no, I mean, elaborate I think maybe? The, the, we, we're, we are investing in this market because we believe that this has the potential to be a very large market. So what, what, why we're different and why companies like that, by the way, we're not in, uh, in the same business with Blinkbox, um, but when, I, when we talk about that, th most of the other folks like Blinkbox are in these revenue share businesses where they don't pay license fees, they pay revenue share. Sure. So, well, we, but we actually pay license fees, competitive with television. So is it, we, and it's, and it's a well-established market. So if you think the fees are too high, then they're too high for BBC and Sky too. Blinkbox calculates that since you came into the market, content um, rates have increased by 10 times. <laughs> That's funny. That's not true. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Who from Blinkbox said that? <laughs> I think it might be the aforesaid Michael Comish. But does it... I put him on my accounting you, are team. You, are you worried? <laughs> your accounting team. Are, are you worried that you're having to pay too much to get into this market? What is, what is too much? I mean, that's the question. And for me, what, the way that, my, uh, that my, my licensing groups are measured is in viewing. So if something gets viewed a tremendous amount of time, let's pay a tremendous amount of money to get it. 